Hi, welcome to That Crafting Lady. I'm Cindy, and I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. It helps my channel grow. Click the bell icon so you can be notified when I upload new videos. And don't forget to hit that thumbs up button if you like today's video. Hi everybody, it's Cindy, That Crafting Lady. Today I am going to show you how to make this beautiful snowflake wreath. A Dollar Tree Mimi's World is hosting a Have a Blue Christmas collab. So I made this wreath for that collab. So make sure that you check out her channel and the playlist. They'll both be linked in the um, description box below. So since I'm in my craft room, let's get crafting and make this beautiful wreath. Okay, so these are the supplies we're going to need. Uh, some tool from the Dollar Tree some balls that I um, got at the Dollar Tree, and a Dollar Tree wreath. I made this bow already because, you know, I am bow challenged, and I didn't think you wanted to watch me make it. I got the ribbon from um, Hobby Lobby, and I got it 50% off, and some wall clings from uh, the Christmas tree shop, and I think I paid, yep, $2.99 for them, so that was cheap. And we will get this open so that we can uh, decide which snowflakes we're going to add to our wreath. There we go. All right, so the first thing that we're going to want to do is take the wreath and the tool. Get the balls out of the way. And what I want to do is make the tool like doubled. So I'm going to just kind of fold it over. Yeah, just like that. Fold it right in half, and then I'm going to secure it to the top of the wreath with a little bit of hot glue. So I'm going to take my Sure Bonder because you want to stick with the best. Use Sure Bonder. There you go. And then stick it down. Remember to be careful when using hot glue. You don't want to burn yourself. Have some water handy just in case. So I'm going to continue to keep it um, pinched in half. And I'm just going to wrap it around uh, the wreath. Because I want to give it a little shimmer effect with the um, tool. So the wreath is pretty as it is. But I just wanted to add a little something wintry to it. So just keep it folded over in half and wrap around. Just make it until you like it. If you want more than one layer, do more than one layer. Um, whatever makes you happy. These are your crafts. So you have to make them so that they look nice to you. Nobody else, just you. Um, I like the way this turned out with just the one layer. I was going to do two, but I really just, I like seeing that wreath below it. I didn't want to cover it too fully. So now we'll cut it off and we will glue that piece down using our Sure Bonder. So secure it nice and tightly for us. It won't fall off on us. There we go. Just hold that down till the glue cools. There, perfect. All right, and we'll flip it over to the right side and just kind of futz with it till it looks good. You know, there might be a little couple places I missed. Held the stuff, held the tool a little tight, but there we go. We got it. Now, what I'm going to do is, I think I'll take the biggest snowflake and place that on there. And it does have, like, sticky on the back because it is a wall cling, but I want it to be a little bit more permanent. So I'm going to use some of my Sure Bonder glue and glue that right on there. And I like the dark snowflakes, so those are really the only ones I'm going to use is the dark ones, just because... I think that um, the light ones won't go with the ribbon as well. So that's why I'm just going to use the dark ones. I'll use the light ones for another project some other time. So I think not quite exactly opposite, but just over on the side, I'm going to put a medium-sized one. 
So just put some glue on the back of it and stick it down. And then I think I'm going to use one of the small ones. Yeah, that one. That looks good. And we're going to put that right there. So we've got the big one on one side and a medium and a small on the other. That looks good. Make sure they're nice and stuck down. There we go. Now I'm going to take my bow, and when I made my bow, I left um, the pipe cleaner on it. So I'm going to wrap that right around the wreath and then just twist it on so it's nice and secure and it's not going to go anywhere. Once I get it all nice and secured, I'm going to snip off the excess. There we go. Snip that off. Get that out of the way. And, you know, just kind of make the bow look pretty. Make it till you like it. There, I like that. Yep, one, this one's kind of a little loose, so I'm going to add a little bit of glue just to glue it down a little better. There, that's better. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is take my balls and I'm going to string them on some silver ribbon. And I got this in a pack at Michael's for $2, and it came with eight uh, spools of ribbon, so that was really cheap. And I'm just kind of pinching the end of the ribbon so that it will fit through the top of the ornaments. And I originally thought I was going to use all three of those. So I strung all three on. Took me a second there to get them on, but there we go. Pinch it together. That's how you get the ribbon through. All you got to do is pinch it together and pull them through. Once I got the third one on, though, and I looked at how it was sitting, I wasn't quite pleased with the look of three. So, as you can see, I kind of pull them together and kind of take a look at them. I'm like, you know, I'm not really liking this a lot. No. So, I said, no, oh, I don't like the way it looks. Let's take, well, actually, no, nope. I wanted to see it with more ribbon first. There, and I, no, I didn't like the way three looked. So, I'm going to pull two of them off. And we're just going to go with the one. So, you can change your mind. In the middle of a craft project, it doesn't matter. You can change your mind and do whatever you need to do to make it the way you want it. So, I wanted to hang about halfway in the middle of the, rib of the wreath. So kind of like that, about that much, and I will trim that ribbon right there. Trying to get the bow out of the way. There you go. And we'll use our glue gun to glue um, the ribbon there. So I'll put the first piece of ribbon down with some glue, and then I will attach the second half of the ribbon to it. So there's the little bit more glue. Don't need a lot, just a little because it really does work. I think I didn't quite use enough though because I had to go back and put a little more on. You'll see here in a minute. And I turned the bow around because I didn't want it to go that way. I wanted it to I wanted it to be at the top of the wreath and not at the bottom. There. Oh, see, I told you I didn't quite get it secured. So let's do that again. The glue was still warm, and all I really had to do was press it on there with my fingers and hold it there for a second, and it stuck. In there. See, that looks good. Now we'll make the bow pretty 
Sorry, it's out of shot, but you'll get to see it in just a minute, I promise. As I said, I am so bow challenged. I keep watching videos on them, so maybe I'll get better someday. But there we go. I like the way that looks. And then that hangs down in the middle. And I want the... I don't want those to be in front of the ball. I want them kind of off to the side. So I'm going to take a little glue and glue them onto the wreath so they stay put. And I'll glue the other side too. There we go. Got it. All right. And that's exactly what I was looking at. Now get those strings out of the way. And that ball hangs just where I wanted it to. Looks good. All right, so I'm going to take the wreath and I will um, hang it up so that you can see what, um, what it looks like when it's hanging. And um, we'll be right back. So there's the completed wreath hanging on my door. I love how it looks. I hope you do too. Uh, remember, this is part of a Dollar Tree Mimi's World Collab, A Blue Christmas. So make sure that you check out her channel and you check out the playlist. They're both linked in the description box below. And um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. I would really appreciate it. Click the bell icon so you can be notified when I upload more videos. And until next time, everyone, live fully, love deeply, learn something new every day. Thank you guys for watching. Bye-bye.